hello. So, after like uploading a video two weeks ago and then sitting in my house for another two weeks waiting for my camera to arrive, I'm back. I'm not sure about the lighting, you know. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I said I may have one. I don't want the whole YouTube to be about makeup. It says the same girl, makeup. I knew I was gonna do this video at some point. So I was like, you know what, I may as well do it in lockdown, I've got everything anyway. I literally use a drugstore all the time, I don't even use any high-end brands, like, I use a couple. I can't find fucking anything. If you see me using weird things in place of other things, just let it slide, because there's not much I can do about it. I thought I would have loads, right? And then I've gone to look, just find like some eyeshadow palettes and stuff. The only actual eyeshadow palettes I can find, they don't even have the lids anymore, what I used to use when I was like 14. So somehow we're going to have to make something work. Do you know how hard it is to actually look at the lens when I can see myself there? I'm looking at myself again. So we're going to use these anyway, I think. Clearly, I'm not as prepared as I thought I was. Yes, I have got pink honey on my eyebrows. No, this is not a drugstore product. Do I feel better for getting that off my chest because I felt guilty? Yes. In my opinion, there's nothing really that you could buy in a drugstore. Drug Oh my god, I've said it that many times, it's just gone weird in my head. I suppose you could use soap, but I'd suggest it if you don't have pink honey, but if you've got pink honey, then use it. A concealer I like to use when I carve out my brows is Maybelline Fit Me. I usually use the shade 20. Sometimes I use the shade 10. I can't really tell much of a difference in them, but I think this one's a little bit more yellowy. I honestly wish you could see the state of my dressing table. I don't wish that actually at all. I literally can't talk whilst I'm doing this. I'm looking at myself again. <sighs> I honestly think like on my gravestone it's going to be like suffocated from holding a breath whilst carving out brow. I know it's not just me that does that though. Or like winged eyeliner. You can't breathe whilst you do it. Everybody knows that. My camera keeps focusing and I hope you can't hear it because it's kind of frustrating. I've only just gone in with a different fucking shade of concealer, haven't I? Have I? Well, where's the other one then? <sighs> Breathe. Oh, by the way, I always, always get people, because with my online lessons, I obviously say that I use this concealer as an eye base. I always get so many people asking me if I've tried the P. Louise base and why I don't use it. I do love the P. Louise base, like, I'm not going to lie, it's one of my favourite eye bases by far. It is really good, especially if you're going to use colour. This concealer is obviously a lot more thinner. So when you put it on it's like more wet if that makes sense but i feel like when they set before you apply the eyeshadow i don't think it makes that much of a difference between them and obviously if you're just buying it for yourself and it'll last you a while i'd probably say get the p louise one it's not expensive anyway but obviously i go through them when i'm working with my clients so so quick and i just save so much money using this concealer instead I'd say try both. It probably depends on how you do your eyeshadow. And I do love the base, but this just works as well for me and it's a cheaper option. I'm not being funny, can you hear them cows? What is going on? We're just going to ignore the cows, okay? If you hear a cow, just pretend you didn't. Honestly, I'm looking at these eyeshadows and I'm like, what on earth can I do? Maybe... I'll use a dark concealer to begin with. How do things just go missing? Like, I can't honestly tell you how many times I put something down directly in front of me and then zaps into thin air. Here they are. They didn't zap into thin air. So, I've got these concealers. MUA full coverage concealers. And I'm thinking, because I've got these to work with, that these might be a good start instead of eyeshadow and then I can just sort of deepen it with eyeshadow what are we thinking? it's actually a really nice colour looks a bit like shit there, never mind oh, oh you know what? this is 
is going to work. I feel like this is so many challenges in one. It's drugstore makeup. It's liquid eyeshadows slash concealers. Trying things I've never done before. And I think I'm here for it. Do you know what? I'm a big fat liar. I have done this before. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. Do you know what? I can actually imagine this being quite a cute little soft glam. And I'm actually rather excited about it. I usually would go in now with my Fenty, just to set that, but I don't have my Fenty. Well, I do have my Fenty, I'm not allowed to use my Fenty. I think I'm going to use... It's just like a nude. Obviously, if I go in now with a darker shade, it's just going to stick to where the places are more wet. I'm just going to set that before I put any shadow over, because we don't like patchy shadow. Obviously if I was going to go in with a darker colour now, I wouldn't be setting. Well, if I was going to do like a darker smoky eye, I wouldn't have done the concealer underneath. If you do set your eye base before putting on a darker colour, you're not going to get the pigment that you want. Because you do want it to stick. But because I'm just going to do light colours and soft glam, you're alright setting the base. So that it doesn't go darker than you want it to and it's nice and even. I literally used to like, look, hit pan. What? Why? They're all like shimmer shades. I don't really use shimmer eyeshadows. Right, I'm gonna use this one that apparently I loved when I was 14. We're bringing it back. Do you know what? I went to get some petrol before. Literally, I haven't left my house hardly for this whole thing. Unless it's go for like a walk, but I literally live in the middle of nowhere, so I never ever see anyone anyway. I'm not being funny. I was so scared. Driving was horrendous. I shouldn't have been on the roads. By the way, I'm just gonna go in with a lighter shade, just at the front. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have been driving. I park on like the curb outside my house, and I was going to drive off the curb. I usually drive upwards. And then drive like nice and steadily off the curb. I fucking nearly popped a tire. Bounced off the curb. And that's when I realised this is a bad idea. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Like everything else in my life. I was like screwing my petrol thing the wrong way. I made an absolute tear to myself. I feel that's just my life really. Well I mean we're definitely going a lot softer than I thought we were going to. See, like, now I need, like, a smoky liner or something. All these are shimmery. And that's not a look. I'm going to use the dark brown shade out of my brow kit. I'm actually shocked at myself that I've got two eyeshadow palettes that are drugstore. And they're absolutely shy. I mean, they're alright if you like shimmer eyeshadow. This is working a treat, though. Sometimes I just have to support my own decisions because nobody else does. Because usually they're fairly shit. But this one, this was a good one. I mean, considering what I've used, I really don't hate this. I don't love it, but I certainly don't hate it. That's how you become a qualified MUA, that. If you take your brush, you've made it. Before I started doing makeup, I felt so professional tapping my brush. Doing my makeup like... No one can touch me. I tap my brush. I'm going to use the light colour. Much better. So that's actually saved it. I was trying to stay positive, but I actually fucking hated that eyeshadow until now. I still don't really like this. I think I'm just going to stick to buying my standard eyeshadow palettes. But then here I am saying you're best off getting a good eyeshadow and I'm using a fucking like five year old eyeshadow palette. Maybe I am the one that needs to update. For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Total Temptation. Um, I don't really buy expensive mascaras really anyway. The only one I actually love that is high end that I've used is um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex. But it dries out so quick. Which probably would be alright for me. I haven't used it for like a year. But it would probably be better for me now. I'll be using it on clients. Because I'd use it up quicker. I do love it. It is 
an unreal mascara. But yeah, to be honest with you, I don't really buy high-end mascaras, apart from that. I don't have any drugstore lashes, so I'm gonna use these Eldora ones. I have actually used the Primark lashes, because obviously this is meant to be a full face drugstore, but I'm not prepared enough. I'm a mess. When I was starting out makeup and I really didn't have loads of money to um, constantly stock up on expensive things, I used Kitty Lash, which are really nice and affordable. And I used the Sosu lashes that they sold in Primark, and they are actually really nice. You can get some really nice ones, but obviously now I use my tatties. And probably going to start using these Eldora lashes because they're actually really nice. Sorry for cheating and using non drugstore lashes. Hopefully lashes can save this for me. I mean, I don't, I don't hate this eye look. I don't love it. I guess I'm just feeling kind of neutral about it. Oh, look at that! Wow, they're so nice. I mean, that really has just saved the day, hasn't it? Actually, do you know what? I think I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line. The scene is. We've gone rather plain Jane on the eyes. Underneath my eyes, I use the same concealer that I used on top. Maybelline Fit Me. Oh my god, my lash just stuck to my bottom lash. I hate that so much. Why is my house so quiet today? I say this right, but I'm literally nocturnal. Like, I'm most likely gonna finish this video at like two in the morning. And I'm like, why the fuck's everyone asleep? But in my waterline, I'm using the Maybelline gel liner. This isn't even for the sake of the video. I love this. I don't really like using pencil liners, especially on clients, just because it can poke them in the eye so much easier. Um, whereas gel liners, you can put on like a really thin little brush like this. And you can obviously just be a lot more precise where you put it. And I think you get a better colour payoff. I can never seem to get like a proper black waterline when I use pencils. I just find gel liners so much easier to use and I've used a couple. This is by far my favourite. Yeah, personally I just prefer gel liners over pencil liners. I'm like, yeah, it's so much more precise and I've poked myself in the eye literally like four times. I give up with myself. And when I put it on my waterline, I usually put quite a lot of pressure on so then it sort of goes underneath onto my lower lash line as well and I just smudge it out there's nothing on this brush by the way this is just the brush that I used to blend out my um, smoky liner on my top lid um, I'm literally just using what I've put on my bottom lash line with the gel liner and literally just smudging that so this is my favourite foundation anyway and it's, it's unbelievably cheap I use the shades True Ivory and Warm Sun when I'm not tanned when I have a natural tan, I use warm sun. When I have tan on, I mix warm sun and a tiny bit of caramel, just because I feel like it's more of a brownie colour like fake tan is. Um, I've not actually used any primers or anything. I've just got Nivea moisturiser on. Um, I've actually been told that's quite a bad moisturiser for your skin, if you're going to use it for skincare, just because. This is not from me, by the way. I'm not like, I'm a fucking skincare expert. Um, I've been told by a skincare expert that it's too thick to actually go on into your skin so it'll just sit on your skin instead and it'll make it oily but underneath foundation I actually really like it because especially if my skin's dry I feel like it really helps my foundation stay on through the day because obviously I set my face after I've done my makeup so yeah it doesn't go oily under foundation for me I don't really believe in primers if I wasn't doing this drugstore I'd probably use MAC strobe cream underneath my foundation that is a really nice base but yeah i'm going without a primer today just moisturizer i'd actually like to know if people use primers and if they're good because every single primer i've tried either makes my skin feel dry or not much different at all i've never had a i've never used a primer that i've felt has made my makeup stay on any longer than it would have done if I didn't use it which is the whole point of it really isn't it so if there's any good primers that you recommend please let me know because I would like one if they worked I don't 
don't really like silicone primers like they've got this one here the professional one i don't really like it might just be because of my skin but i think that is like a silicone one and i feel like it just makes my skin dry underneath my foundation so that's not for me really i prefer more moisturizing things on my face which is why i use moisturizer if you've got any good ones let me know usually under my eyes and concealer everywhere i just use my fit me but for the sake of this video when i was looking through my makeup yesterday trying to find stuff um i found i used to love this concealer and i haven't actually used it since i got my maybelline so i'm gonna use it i use the shade lemon and i actually love light under eyes which i haven't really been doing much recently i actually forgot how much i love this concealer like this was actually my ride or die and it's like four quid which is the same as the maybelline one I've never actually tried the Tarte concealer but I've been told that this is like a dupe for it. If you like that and you don't want to spend as much you could try this. I haven't used this for like a year. I literally got all my friends to buy this. I remember when I got it I was like this is the best ever thing. I feel like it dries quite fast I probably should have done this in sections. The concealers that I use in the Maybelline one, when I use shade 10 or 20, they're lighter than my foundation but they're not loads lighter. So if you prefer like this, like a lighter under eye, which I actually do, then you might want to get a lighter shade. The reason that I use a concealer that's sort of a similar shade to my foundation is when I use a lighter one, although it does look nicer I think, and it makes it look a lot more glam, it sometimes makes me look paler. So when I use concealer that is the same or a similar shade to my foundation, I feel like I stay more tanned. If I'm going on a night out, I tend to use a lighter concealer because it does definitely look more glam. I do absolutely still love this concealer. I don't think I'll ever not love it, but it's harder to blend than the Maybelline one because it's more drying. One thing I love about the Maybelline concealer is if you crease under your eyes or you've got dry skin, it doesn't sort of stick to any areas if you have dry skin i think this one can sort of dry funny on it sometimes this lighting is making me look so much paler than i am i promise i am not this pale all right i literally set my under eyes as soon as i've put concealer on so that you don't give it time to set and crease so because obviously i would use my fenty here i'm going to use the light shade out of the brow kit again just to set my under eyes i hope i don't get flashback from this I feel like I'm really throwing this makeup back to how I used to do it when I was like 15. I actually used to use this um, light shade to set my under eyes with that concealer when I first started doing makeup. I've used this brow kit since day one because I've been using it for so long like I literally I think I would struggle using anything else. Okay, like once you get used to using something when someone throws something else at you it's like well I don't know what to do with that. Oh, I've got to tell you, you know, I cannot wait to bra- I don't have a fucking bronzer. But yeah, I cannot wait to bronze. I'm so white. And I actually don't think I have a drugstore bronzer. So, cream contour it is. But for cream contour, I'm using the All Night Long Barium Foundation Stick. I prefer using foundations to contour sticks so much more just because i think they're a lot creamier maybe i'm wrong i just haven't found a contour stick that has been creamy enough or as creamy as a foundation stick would be on my skin so i personally prefer that maybe one day i'll try a contour stick that's creamy or as creamy as this i'd fall in love i'm gonna already feel better just for having that little one bit of bronze on me. It's really sad that I've just washed my hair and I'm putting makeup in it for the sake of wiping it off after this video. It's rather heartbreaking to be fair. When I contour my nose, I don't really contour my nose. If you want to actually contour your nose, 
I'd say use a smaller brush than this. Personally, I don't like drawing two lines on either side of my nose because if you can't blend it, it's not a look. I don't really contour my nose that much, like I said, so I'm alright using a brush like this. But if you are wanting to make it look thinner, definitely use a smaller brush. I just sort of had cream contour for my nose just for like the colour. Just a bit of colour in the centre of my face. This is sort of a warm. I cannot get my words out. This is a warm colour. This is fudge by the way. If you actually wanted to contour your nose to make it thinner, you better use an ashy colour so it's more like a shadow rather than like an, an orangey tone. Once I've got that on, I'm going to set my face with the NYX No Filter Powder in shade Medium Olive. I can't actually believe the state of my leggings. Like, I've literally just put them on. I actually love this powder so much. I love this shade. I feel like it's very yellowy. I cannot stand pinky foundation, pinky powder. Ugh, it's just not for me. I prefer yellow tones. This is where I would bronze. Oh, oh, look at that. I don't look as... I look orange now. White. Orange. Maybe I need a different background so that I don't look as white. This is where I would bronze and blush. I don't think I've got either in drugs, so I usually use MAC bronzer. I don't have one, but for blush, I can't live without blush. Like, I used to hate blush, like I've let it. I never used blush, and now I actually love it. I'm so unprepared for this. I don't have a drugstore blush, so I'm going to use number seven matte lip crayon. And if I knew I was going to be using something like this for blush, and then I would have done it before I set my face. But we can just hope for the best, really, can't we? Hello? Oh, this isn't bad, you know. Oh my god, I'm a genius. That could have gone so much worse. For highlighter, I'm using e.l.f. I don't know if I've even, even ever used this. I usually use Doll Beauty and I feel like that's very hard to beat. And Doll Beauty is cheap as well to be fair. Oh that actually is quite nice. It's actually stunning. I'm so glad this shows up on camera. There's actually not a single thing on this earth more upsetting than when your highlight doesn't show up on camera or a picture. Right, now to actually use it for my brows. I'm using the Barry Matte Brow Kit. I've been using this since I was out the womb. And I feel like not that many people know about this either. Like, when I tell people that I use it, they're like, what is it? Is it powder? Is it pomade? It's both. But yeah, I feel like not many people know about this. Apart from, like, the people that I've told. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe everyone knows about it, but nobody's ever told me that they use this. But I absolutely love it. Do you know what they're looking fucking stunning in? They look nice. I'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes. Um, for lip liner, I'm using Natural Collection. I don't know what shade this is. It doesn't actually say on it. I might have sharpened it off. Maybe I need to do a video of like half my face, not drugstore, half my face, drugstore. Maybe that could be a shadow, or maybe like dupes on one side and expensive on the other. Now for my lipstick, I'm using Maybelline. These are such a nice formula, I love these. Um, they feel really creamy. I feel like these can dry your lips out quite a lot, even the expensive ones. I've tried expensive liquid lip, liquid lipsticks and they just, that's not dry my lips out so much. 
these are like five five or six quid I think maybe even less and they feel so nice on your lips a lot of the time when you wear a matte lipstick you feel like it wears away and it dries your lips these feel really nice and hydrating In the middle of my lips, I'm going to be using this. I'm just going to put this right in the middle. I'm done. I actually quite like it, you know. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I don't know if I'd use drugstore makeup again because what do you expect when you're using a fucking lipstick for blush on but i would be more prepared if i was going to do something like this again i actually really want to do a half drugstore or like half dupes and real product most of the stuff that i use is affordable not exactly drugstore but affordable so um yeah definitely let me know if you've got any good dupes or anything that you want to know is a good dupe and I'll try and do a video on it and I mean if you really want you can like the video you can subscribe to my channel you've got to let me know what more to do because I feel like I have so much on a list of what I want to do but then when it comes to it I'm like actually I don't think I want to do that so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this so let me know what else you want to see and I'll see you soon